हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर रेनू त्यागी फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एंथ्रोपोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल न्यूट्रिशन एंड हेल्थ ऑफ द एजेड अंडर द पेपर बायो सोशल जेरेंटोलॉजी द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल आर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द डेफिनेशन एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ द न्यूट्रिशन एंड एजिंग to understand the range of the factors that contribute to the nutritional health of the elderly and to understand the range in the physiology functions and cognitive status with the age and will be able to understand the nutritional needs and requirements for the elderly first of all let's discuss on the concept of nutrition health and the aging Nutrition is defined as the science of the food and nutrients their action interaction and balance in the relationship to health and disease the processes by which the organism ingest digest absorb transport and utilizes the nutrients and dispose of their end products nutrition is the state of the health as influenced by the intake of the essential food and nutrients role of the diet and nutrition are important factors for determining maintenance and the promotion of the good health good nutrition is in fact essential to maintain our good health health of an individual depends upon the adequacy with which the dietary intake meets the need of the body for growth development and the maintenance in elderly nutritional support and attention is very important to maintain their strength vigor and good health now let's see what aging is aging is a gradual developmental process that affects the biological psychological sociological and behavioral changes which begins at the moment an individual is born aging is associated with the physiological psychosocial and economic changes with the potential impact on the diet and the nutritional status many factors affect the nutritional status in elderly such as the neuropsychological nutritional problems mobility and the dentition and also related diseases it is therefore crucial to meet the dietary nutrients for the elderly people for maintaining their functional status and a good quality of life now let's see the factor influencing the nutritional status of the elderly nutrition related health status of an individual is determined by the biological social cultural economic and the environmental factors these factors may individually or in combination interact with the normal physiological and the lifestyle changes associated with the aging to affect the nutritional status of the older adult to have a positive impact on the health and the well-being of the older people it is indeed necessary to understand the range of the factors that contribute to the nutritional health of the elderly determinants of the health may have either a direct or an indirect etiological role in the nutritional risk in the elderly various socio environmental and the neuropsychological factors are involved with the aging social and the environmental factor involve poverty poor housing facilities lack of access to the proper meal family size etc and the neuropsychological factors involves like the alzheimer disease dementia and depression there are many changes in the body composition and physiology with the advancing age aging involves changes in the physiology and function of the body these changes have a profound influence on the nutritional status of the aging adults and affects the body's metabolism nutrient intake absorption storage utilization and the excretion of the nutrients nutrient requirement and the ability to choose prepare and eat a variety of food it is important to understand how the changes in the body composition and physiology relate specially to the risk for the chronic diseases morbidity and mortality 
Now let's see what is sarcopenia. Sarcopenia is defined as the age related decline in the muscle mass may represent an advanced stages in the progressive age related body composition changes. There is a dramatic change in the body composition with age and a tendency to deposit the excess fat over time, inevitable loss of the lean body mass and bone mineral density. Abnormal body composition or the central distribution of the fat can result in the adverse effect on the health of an individual. This can lead to the abnormality in the carbohydrate metabolism, lipid, high blood pressure and a major risk factor for the development of the non-insulin dependent diabetes. Loss of the muscle mass increases with the advancing age and accelerate as the age advances or more towards the age of 80 years and above. There is a loss of the muscle mass by 1 to 2 percent a year after the age of 50 years and at a 5 percent each decade from the age of 40 years and above. Reduction in the muscle mass leads to a fall in the basal metabolic rate that is BMR which has been associated with the age in many earlier studies. A decrease in the BMR of about 10 percent occurs between the age of young adulthood and about the age of 60 years and 10 percent decline by the age of 75 years. In the elderly, energy expenditure is also affected by the physical inactivity which is in turn contribute to the decline in the basal metabolic rate. Thus, calorie requirement decreases with the increase in the age about 25 percent less than those of the normal adult doing the sedentary work. Now let's see what is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a metabolic advancing age related loss in which the amount of the calcium in bone is reduced making them porous. Aging is associated with a loss of the bone and the total body calcium. It is very common among the women in the postmenopausal phase of their life and it is estimated that 28 million of the older adults have been found to be osteoporotic and 80% of these are the women. Possible causes of the osteoporosis may be a diet deficient in the calcium, vitamin D, fluorides and a diet containing the excessive amount of the phosphorus also accelerate the bone loss. Also impaired intestinal absorption and the reduced renal reabsorption can aggravate the bone demineralization. At around 50 years of the age in women and 65 years of age in the men, the substantial bone loss usually begins to occur as bone mineral and the collagen matrix are removed from the bone more rapidly than they are replaced. Older people are at the increasing risk of developing the osteoporosis, hip and the wrist fractures, spinal compression fractures and locomotor disabilities as they age. In India, there are more than 6 crore people with the osteoporosis. Risk factors for the osteoporosis include the frailty, undernutrition, unsafe home environment, inability to exercise, dementia, etc. Now let's see obesity. Obesity is defined as the excessive accumulation of the body fat resulting in the adverse effect on the health associated with the other chronic diseases. Obesity is emerging as an important health problem among the elderly women as it predisposes them to reduced functional ability and increased morbidity. The fundamental cause of the obesity is excessive consumption of the high calorie food with less physical activity level that is when the energy intake is in excess of the expenditure. Obesity is associated with other diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, hypertension, cancers and the polycystic ovaries. Dietary 
prevention for the obesity include the limited intake of the fat, elimination of the trans fatty acids, increasing physical activity level, reducing the intake of the drinks high in the sugar, limited salt consumptions, increased consumption of the fruit and vegetables can prevent the unhealthy weight gain. The oral health and dentition is another important factor. With increasing age, several functional changes and the disabilities occur. By the age of the 60, the risk of the disability arise from the age-related losses in hearing, seeing and moving and non-communicable diseases including that heart diseases, stroke, chronic respiratory disorders, cancer and dementia. Oral health is one of the crucial and a key component of the healthy aging. Poor oral health can negatively impact on the general and the total well-being of an elderly people. In some elderly adults, the experience of the pain while eating and chewing without their natural teeth, discolored or the damaged teeth have a major impact on the functional ability and older people's daily lives. Such experiences are more likely to eat a restricted variety of the food which are difficult to be chewed such as the some vegetables, fruits and nuts and some meat. These may hamper their enjoyment of eating thereby limiting their food and nutrient intake. Dry mouth also refers to as the xerostomia is also a common with the advancing age. It can be a significant problem for the oral health and functioning by interfering with the intake of the food, affecting the taste and the problem ranging from chewing to the swallowing. Dental caries or the tooth decay and the gum diseases are very common among the elderly. Diet rich in the sugar and consumption of the high energy drinks results in the dental caries. It is very difficult for the older people with the functional limitation to maintain the good oral health. Now let's see the diabetes. There is a progressive deterioration of the glucose tolerance with advancing age. Type 2 diabetes often referred to as the non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus is characterized by the insulin resistance where the body is unable to utilize the glucose derived from the carbohydrate foods or oxygen stores in the tissues. Older adults have a greater susceptibility to the non-insulin dependent diabetes mellitus that is NIDDM and have highest mortality from the atherosclerosis complication related with the NIDDM. Also, high blood sugar is an important risk factor for the cerebrovascular diseases among the elderly. The most common symptom of the diabetes in older adults are the weight loss, abnormal thirst and frequent urination. Diabetes in the aged is often fatal without the strict adherence to the treatment and diet. Weight control, preventing obesity and enhancing the physical activity level is the most promising approach of preventing the diabetes. It can be achieved by modifying the nutrient intake and a an healthy lifestyle. Diet high in the plant food is often associated with a lower incidence of the diabetes mellitus. There are some changes in the mental health and the cognitive status which also influence the diet among the elderly. With increasing age and the frailty, there is a decline in both the physical and the cognitive abilities. Cognitive functions upon which all intelligence is based includes the process such as the perception, memory, verbal skills, reasoning and the judgment. Some of the important etiological factors leading to the impaired cognition, abilities are psychological problems, alcohol, social factors and individual debilitating diseases and these factors are closely intertwined with one another. These factors altogether may influence the nutritional status of the older people which may result in the 
alteration of the cognitive function. An individual's nutritional status may be affected by their refusal or forgetting of the meals or poor or erratic eating habits. Alzheimer's disease is an irreversible and progressive deterioration of the brain characterized by the memory loss, disorientation, depression and deterioration of the bodily functions. The onset of the disorder is insidious and more common with the increasing age which usually occurs after the age of 65 years. However, Alzheimer's patients may manifest progressive cognitive and emotional changes as early as the fifth or the sixth decade of the life. Associated psychological changes include the memory failure, gradual deterioration of the cognitive abilities, personality and behavior deterioration. Decline in the mental alertness, adaptability, sociability, untidy, agitated and the self-centered attitude are some other associated symptoms. The exact cause of the Alzheimer's disease is unknown but some suggested causes are the alteration in the protein production in the brain, stroke, high free radicals, biochemical deficiencies of certain enzymes and the chromosomal defects. An adequate intake of the antioxidant nutrients with the nutrient vitamin C and E helps in the protection from these damaging effect of the free radicals. Adequate intake of the folate, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, diet rich in the omega-3 products, the risk of the Alzheimer's disease. Now let's see what is dementia. Dementia is the most common cause of the cognitive impairment. It is defined as the decline in the cognitive, intellectual and the memory functions due to the disease processes affecting the central nervous system. Prevalence of the dementia increased with the advancing age and it is well known that age is a risk factor for the dementia. People suffering from the dementia may manifest impaired memory impairment in abstract thinking altered judgment and personality changes. Elderly people are the most neglected segment in most of the societies. It is considered a stress to grow old gracefully in the Indian context. According to the census of the India, there are more than 76 million people who are older about 60 years and above. With the demographic aging comes the problems of the dementia, the number of persons with the dementia doubles every 5 years of age. It is one of the major cause of the disability in the life of the elderly people. There are nutritional requirement or specific nutritional requirement of older adults. Nutritional need of the elderly decreases with the age due to decline in the physical activity and the lowered metabolism. The diet and the nutrient needs of the elderly are different from the young adults. Caloric requirement decreases with the increase in age about 25% less than those of the normal adults who are sedentary. According to the dietary guidelines by the National Institute of the Nutrition that is NIN Hyderabad, a reduced amount of the calories but adequate protein, carbohydrate, fat, vitamins, minerals and dietary fibers are recommended for the Indians. Although the nutritional needs of the growth disappear with the age, the normal nutritional needs for maintaining a constant state of the good health remain throughout the life. Good nutrition can speed the recovery from the illness, surgery or the broken bones and generally can improve the spiritual and the quality of elderly and even the length of their life. Elderly require more calcium, iron, zinc and the vitamin to prevent the age-related degenerative diseases. 
Apparently, protein needs among them are not reduced appreciably with the age and yet many older people eat less protein than they did when they were younger. This in most cases is likely to happen with the increasing denture problem or the lack of the appetite. Regardless of the age, the good quality protein is essential at each meal. Protein is a component of the antibodies needed for the immune system functions and responsible for the repair and the synthesis of the enzyme involved in the cell multiplication, collagen and connective tissues synthesis and wound healing. The Indian Council of Medical Research that is ICMR recommended the allowance of the protein as 60 gram and 50 gram per day for male and female respectively. The protein can be provided by the inclusion of the milk and the milk based products, egg, meat, fish and chicken as well as the pulses and nuts in their diet. But it is advisable to consume the fatty meat, egg, whole milk sparingly as they are rich in the fat content as well and cholesterol. Special attention should be given to meeting the protein requirement of the older people if they are sharing the family meals. Now let's see the importance of the vitamin in the diet of the elderly. Vitamins are necessary for the processing of the major nutrients like protein, fat and carbohydrate, hemoglobin synthesis and maintenance of the nerve sheath. The B complex vitamin maintain a number of different compounds. The B complex vitamin are found in the brewers yeast, liver, whole grain cereals, rice, nuts, milk, egg, meat, fish, fruit, leafy green vegetables and many other foods. Vitamin A which is beta carotene, vitamin E and vitamin C are the protective components or antioxidants. Low vitamin A and vitamin E antioxidant status can contribute to the heart diseases and cancer which are considered as the two largest factors in the human longevity. Liberal intake of the food rich in the beta carotene such as the green, yellow and the orange vegetables and fruit are advocated due to the antioxidant properties. The ICMR recommendations is of daily intake of vitamin A and C of about 2400 mg per day and 40 mg per day respectively. Deficiency of the riboflavin in the widely prevalent in the low income group of the population in all age groups. Clinical manifestation of the riboflavin deficiency include the ocular symptoms with the characteristics itching, burning, fatigue and the eye strain. For control and the prevention, diet rich in the riboflavin such as the meat, milk, pulses and other dairy products are recommended. Now let's see the role of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a major source of the energy in the human diet. Carbohydrates calories in the Indian dietary should comprise 55 to 65 percent of the energy. Inadequate intake of the carbohydrate may result in the muscles wasting and the loss of the subcutaneous tissues. It is necessary to restrict the amount of the sugar and refined cereals in the diet and include whole grain, cereals and legumes, pulses, fiber rich food and vegetables instead complex carbohydrate are recommended rather than the simple sugars. Now let's see the role of fat in the diet of the elderly. Fat, the energy giving food adds flavor to the food and makes a meal more satisfying. They contain the essential fatty acids and act as a carrier for the fat soluble vitamins. Essential fatty acids are important because they play an important role in the regulation of several aspects of the cholesterol metabolism. Transport, transformation into the metabolic products and excretion. 
a diet containing 40 to 50 grams of the fat of the proper essential fatty acids is recommended. There is no evidence that lipid requirement is altered with the age except for some specific disease state such as the overweight. The RDA fat intake is 30 energy percent for a sedentary and 35 energy percent for an active and the elderly individual. Good source of the essential fatty acids and omega-3 fatty acids such as the fish, liver, green leafy vegetables, soya bean oil, linseed, canola seed and the oil flex seeds are desirable. However, the fat sources like the ghee, butter and refined oil should be taken in moderation. Now let's understand the role of micronutrient minerals. The micronutrients have beneficial effect on the immune functions, wound healing and have antioxidant functions and are very important in elderly population. The calcium, need for the calcium in elderly people seems to be as great as the need of the younger generation. The recommended daily allowance that is RDA for the elderly is 400 mg per day as recommended by the ICMR. Inadequate calcium intake, reduction in the intestinal calcium absorption along with some endocrine disturbances results in the age-related bone problems or the bone loss among the elderly people. This may lead to osteoporosis and fragility. Lowered gastric acidity and hepatic and pancreatic insufficiencies may contribute by impairing the calcium absorption. Iron is necessary for the synthesis of the hemoglobin and is vital for the process of the nutrition. Iron requirement are determined by the demand for the tissue growth and hemoglobin accretion and by replacement needs for iron lost in the urine, faces, sweat, and especially among the females during the menstruation. As many as 80% of the world population may be iron deficient, while 30% may have iron deficiency anemia. Prevalence of the anemia among elderly in India is high due to the low dietary intake, poor iron and the folic acid intake, poor bioavailability of the iron in the physical fiber rich Indian diet. The most sustainable solution is the regular intake of the adequate food sources which are rich in the iron such as the green leafy vegetables, wheat flour, jaggery and dates. Animal food such as the fish, liver, dairy products and egg yolk are advisable iron rich supplement which are must for the prevention of the anemia. Oral iron or the low dosage of the iron, multivitamin supplements, folic acids, vitamin A and zinc are recommended. Zinc plays an important role in the growth, appetite regulation, immune system and maintenance of the sense of the taste and smell. Animal products are important source of the zinc are meat, liver, egg, milk, legume and whole grains, pulses and nuts are the good plant sources. In elderly, the zinc deficiency may result in the anorexia, weakness, altered abnormal taste, delay in the wound, inadequate calorie intake, alcoholism, gastrointestinal surgery, malabsorption, Crohn's disease, and short bowel syndrome and chronic diarrhea are some of the risk factors for the zinc deficiency. Potassium is a crucial nutritional component and plays a key role in the energy metabolism, synthesis of the glycogen and protein, cardiac, skeletal and smooth muscles contraction and in the renal functions. In older people, age-related health problems may jeopardize the potassium nutrition due to the excessive urinary losses such as the diuretic therapy, renal diseases and diarrhea. 
meats cereal fruit juices and vegetables are the good source of the potassium malnutrition among elderly elderly people are vulnerable to malnutrition due to decreased food consumptions with old age this contributed to the nutritional deficiencies malnutrition and also associated with the increased risk of the morbidity and mortality there is an increased risk of the vulnerability to infection decline in the immunity fatigue weight loss anemia functional impairment poor wound healing and increased fall are reported which are the consequences of the undernutrition however the malnutrition in elderly is not an inevitable side effect of the aging but may be due to the other physiological psychological and social changes associated with the aging undernutrition in the older adults may be caused by either or decrease in the intake or the hypermetabolism associated with the certain conditions such as the trauma fever and surgery morbidities associated with the increasing age are found to be more frequent in the developing countries studies have shown that more than 50% of the older population is underweight and more than 90% has an energy intake below the recommended allowances malnutrition is now very common in the geriatric population and studies have pointed out that many health care services or the physicians often overlook and fail to treat the malnutrition among elderly a good dietary management is necessary for the health promotion of the elderly of community and household health care providers should not neglect this problems to maintain the good health among the elderly which may lead to serious health problem now let's see the different social and community factors which affect the nutrition status of the elderly these are the family status and the socio economic status now let's see how family status affects in primitive societies there was a time when joint family was the norm and older people were looked upon with the reverence and provided nutritional care as well as the nursing care also factors such as the increase divorce rates lower remarriages rate for women and the higher mobility of the family members force them to live alone health status of the elderly are greatly influenced by the social factors linked to the social services and so older people who live alone are more likely to have the fewer social emotional and the financial support as compared to the male contemporaries senior women are more likely to have live in the institution or the old age homes however the structure of the society and family of the contemporary times has considerably changed their status and living conditions family environment and the care for the elderly are affected by the industrialization modernization high cost of living and increasing materialism nowadays both government and the non government organization have established the old age homes in urban and the rural areas for providing the shelter and support to the needed elderly or the needy elderly several studies have pointed out that most of the inmates ended up in the old age home because of the no one to take care of them at the home socio economic factors also plays an important role study shows that the socio economic condition of the older women is more vulnerable in the context of the demographic and the socio cultural changes health status of an individual is closely related to the socio economic status with limited income old age poverty has become a significant issue due to the increased expenditure in terms of the health care services 
older people are more vulnerable to the ill health due to lack of the financial resources and inadequate nutrition. A lack of the adequate income is an established cause of the inadequate food intake and a cause for the concern in some older adults. This makes it more difficult to access the uninsured health care such as the home nursing and medical when ill. Studies have pointed out that there is elderly population who is facing a higher incidence of the poverty compared to the other groups of the society. Studies have also documented that most of the elderly women who live alone were the poorest and are in the need of the additional socio-economic support from the healthcare service providers. In India, the incidence of the poverty among the elderly population is increasing over the last two decades and remains a serious issue. Now let's summarize what we have learned so far from this module. The nutritional need and the care of the elderly have become more challenging due to the increasing number of the older adult worldwide. Good nutrition is a key component in maintaining the health of the older people. Elderly people are vulnerable to the malnutrition due to decreased food consumption with old age. This contributes to the nutritional deficiencies, malnutrition and also associated with the increased risk of the morbidity and mortality. As many as 80% of the world's population may be iron deficient while 30% may have the iron deficiency anemia. Prevalence of the anemia among the elderly in India is mounting or increasing. Assessing the nutritional status of the elderly is essential because elderly tend to deteriorate their health and are vulnerable to the malnutrition due to inadequate diet, poor socioeconomic status, chronic illness, etc. Multivitamin supplements and iron rich supplements are must for the prevention of the nutritional deficiencies and related disease among the elderly. There is a global burden of the nutritional insecurities and studies have documented a significant number of the elderly fail to get the amount and the type of the foods necessary to meet the essential energy. Therefore, it requires the careful consideration to the type of the nutritional messages that are presented to the elderly. A good nutritional status is must for the senior citizens for it benefit the individual well-being as well as the society by decreasing the healthcare cost, promoting the independence and improving the physical functioning. Proper dietary management is necessary for the health promotion of the elderly at community and household level. Thank you.